everyone, it's Christina Snyder again. Um, so the next couple of questions after the interactive music room that I've been getting have been about the escape room. Um, so this, I did this lesson a while ago with my kids and they loved it. Um, I got so much good feedback on it and I wanted to show you um, some tips and tools on how to make your own. So um, I know there's a lot of questions going around on the Google um, Classroom Facebook groups about like, um, how to publish it and hitting present and stuff that I know you can, um, when you share it, I know you can get rid of this part right here and click present instead. Um, however, that has not been working for me because of the way um, these classrooms work or the um, escape rooms work because they, um, when you do that, the kids can see the slides and I don't want them to see the slides until they're at that point. So I know when they first open it up, they see the slides here on the left, but my kids have, um, they're good about it now. They know to click present whenever they start. So they always go to present and then they go on from there. So um, my escape room is basically just me. Um, someone locked me in the music room and I can't get out. You gotta come help me out of it. So um, their first slide, I tried to put some non-musical fun things in there for them too, just so that they kind of keep interested in it. So this one, you walk into the gym looking for the first clue. What a mess. Can you find the clue? So when I click all around here, it doesn't allow me to go on to the next slide. I have to click on the correct ball to do that. Um, I happen to have the link hidden here under this ball, and here's how, exactly how I did that. So when you create this slide, um, you're going to create this slide and then you're gonna put one huge shape over the entire slide. Let me uh, get a color on that. So this, this uh, shape covers the entire slide and what it does, I have it linked to itself so that when they click on anywhere on the slide, it's only taking them back to that slide. It doesn't allow them to go anywhere else. Um, then what I do is I make that slide transparent and over the top of that, I put another shape. So I go up to uh, insert shapes and I added a square over the place that I wanted them to click. And then I had that, that shape link to the slide that I want them to go to. So in this case, I want them to go onto the next slide, which is slide four, where they have to um, read about the Woodwind family. And the important thing to remember is that this has to go over the initial shape that you added, that big shape. The order really matters in this. Um, and so when they click on there, then they go onto this next one. I embedded a video. I do not own the rights to this video. This is this was just for my kids. And they have to watch that and then they go on to the next question. Oops. Click here. Okay, so now I want them to answer a question about what they just learned, which instrument is not a woodwind. So I know obviously that the trombone is not the woodwind, but I, I want them to be able to make sure that they do the correct answer. And if they get it wrong, I want them to know they got it wrong. So here I put saxophone and it goes to an oh no page, you gotta try again. And each one of these will link to that page. When they click on the trombone, it, it takes them to their correct and then they can move on. So here's how I did that. So when they get here, same thing, I put a huge shape over the top of this. It's transparent right now. Let me switch it so you can see. I put a huge shape over there and then on top of that shape, I have my other shapes to send them to the slides that I want them to send. Oh, let me make that transparent. Oops, this one. So on top of that, I have this one going to the oh no slide, which is slide six. And same thing here. This one goes to six, this one goes to six. This one's gonna go to the correct slide, which is seven. So it's all about linking it correctly. And then when they get to seven, then that one clicks, um, the arrow clicks them to eight. Now in eight, I have some kind of fun animations for them. Let me go back here so you can see it. Okay, so we're correct. Mr. Leo, who's our custodian, who's really funny and the kids love him, um, has been cl busy cleaning. Don't they look so relaxing? Help click the mouse to help Mr. Leo finish decorating. So as I click, it's adding my animations in there. So we're kind of helping him decorate. Here's the flowers. And then there's the, the culprit of who locked Mrs. Snyder in. There's our custodian. Now we're done with all those animations. Now we have to find where the clue's hiding. So once again, I have the clue hidden somewhere and they have to click around until they find it. Happens to be under this rack and it takes them to their next clue. 
Um, so basically the same thing that I've done with the other sides, you put on that huge shape. And then as you add the other objects, you're gonna click animate. So when I show you my animation pane, they, these are all here. So in this case, I wanted to do it on click so that they, the, the objects came in as I was clicking through them. But you can also, um, for different slides, if you want them to animate after each other, you just have to change it to after previous or with previous, depending on what you wanna do. Um, and then another question that I'm seeing pop up a lot in the um, Google Classrooms is what do you do with your interactive music rooms? Well, mine at the end, I had my kids um, pop into my music room, my original one, um, and they could just kind of play around and see. I also add an exit ticket onto there. I'm sorry, I'm getting emailed from a kid. Um, I put an exit ticket on there so that they can go back and they can answer some questions to make sure that they're learning things from this, not just kind of clicking around and having a good time. Um, so I think that's it. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to message me on any of the Facebook groups, or you can always um, reply to this YouTube video, and I will get back to you. I hope you have fun, and um, it, this is a lot of work, I'm not going to lie, um, but it's a lot of fun, and the kids really seem to enjoy it. So good luck.